The idea of uh, the resignation honours goes back to 1895 and Harold Wilson damaged it badly in 1976. Uh, Lloyd George had already given a pretty good knock anyway. Um, the Lavender List, I think, was extraordinarily damaging and Boris Johnson's list uh, cannot have helped at a time when the honours and the House of Lords are under review. Boris has added to the pressure to destroy something which actually is quite is quite charming. And there are there are advantages to not not so much to these political honours, but certainly to honouring and rewarding people who have worked hard and tirelessly uh, for others, for the nation. Uh, and we can't really say that, can we? Can we really say that of these self-serving politicians? I don't think we can. Boris, Trump, Berlusconi. Think of those three. And think particularly of Boris's scattergun chaos of personal preservation, because that's what it's been. Um, and you can look at those uh, big events in his uh, tenure in number 10, the prorogation of Parliament, uh, getting Rees Mogg to lie to the Queen, the expulsion of 25 MPs, um, the old guard, the though Remainers, at least the big beasts of the old era, the Supreme Court striking down the prorogation, the Partygate scandal itself, the allegation of a witch hunt, the PPE um, sale, the 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 the, um, the the deals with friends, um, and now the triggering of three by elections altogether to sort of rub Rishi Sunak's face in it. Boris simply damages as much as he succeeds, and his success, frankly, uh, has been staggering. You know, he was in power for longer than Gordon Brown, and. Uh, he managed a a serious crisis, at least one. Um, and his time as mayor was an undoubted success, at least in terms of popularity, across the party divide. His election in 2019, across the party uh, divide, his championing of Zelensky. Even um, his dealing with Brexit. But the damage that um, he has done uh, uh, fights against any benefit. Uh, he's fractured the Conservative Party almost more than uh, the European problem was fracturing the Conservative Party. He's probably damaged the honour system. He's certainly damaged the House of Lords. He's set a precedent for rule-breaking that will be difficult to... Um, avoid in the future. Uh, even Rishi, I think, has stumbled into this rule-breaking uh, by snubbing the peerages, uh, which should have been nodded through. You, you, don't, you don't challenge a rule-breaker by breaking rules. Um, Boris was not necessarily on a mission to do damage, but it was part of his uh, raison d'etre, it was part of his need to survive. Um, he is a maverick. You don't give a maverick the top job. You, 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 We all need mavericks. We all need mavericks, but a maverick really can only survive against the system, which means they need to be working within the system. That means they can't do the top job. Um, it, 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 it's sort of madness to give Boris the prime ministership. Um, but now we see a trio of these mavericks, all exposed, all in all united in failure. Trump, Boris, Berlusconi, all investigated for misdeeds, wriggling under pressure, um, failing to come up to the high standard of high office. All of them. And uh, is this part of an age or is this simply the 
the result of uh, the the power of the media, the power of um, the 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 the, um, uh, the immediacy of the media. Uh, we shouldn't forget the relationship of Berlusconi and the media, the relationship of Boris and the media, and the way that um, Trump harnessed the media. Uh, all of these three individuals are intimately linked with popularist media, with populist media, all of them, and all of them are rule breakers. <laughs>